Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to withdraw your BNB from your trust wallet to other wallets. So basically if you want to cash out to your bank account, I do recommend and um, I know Coinbase is pr pretty good as far as withdrawal to your bank account and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to use for this tutorial. I'm going to use three wallets. Um, some of you can actually send from your trust wallet to your actual Exodus or Tama wallet uh, and stuff like that. All these wallets is on the Play Store so the, or the Apple Store. So you just have to go there, download the wallets, follow the steps there, and then you back up your, your, your C words, save them, never lose them. That's very vital. But for this video tutorial, I'm going to show you basically the step-by-step -step guide as I can sh show it to you. So real quick, we're going to go to Trust Wallet first. Now mind you, BNB is in the Trust Wallet. Okay. Now once you have BNB here, the objective is to get BNB out of your Trust Wallet and send it to another wallet so you can convert it, okay? And then hopefully cash out. So real quick, let's show you live. Okay. What I got to do first is... I'm going to send my BNB to Atomic Wallet since I already downloaded a wallet because I'm going to use that wallet to swap to Litecoin. The reason I'm choosing Litecoin is because it's cheaper on fees, it's better, it's kind of faster compared to Ethereum or Bitcoin. So for this video tutorial, I'm going to convert BNB to Litecoin, which is another cryptocurrency on, on the coin market cap. So first of all, I'm going to go to my Atomic Wallet. Okay. I already got it downloaded. And um, I'm going to copy the BNB address in my Atomic Wallet. You could do it the same as if you was in Exodus Wallet. But for me, since I'm doing Atomic Wallet, it'd probably be easier for you to download Atomic Wallet on your phone or, co or computer. It is a te desktop version as well. And you can swap BNB to any other coin of your choice. But I'm going to do Litecoin for this video. All right, let me log into my Atomic Wallet. Okay, so now I'm going to get my BNB address for my Atomic Wallet. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to hit receive. I'm going to hit copy. Okay, it, it should say address copy. Now what I'm going to do is go back to Trust Wallet. I'm going to say BNB from... Trust wallet to atomic wallet. A lot of people may say, well, this is too many wallets. This is too much. Well, if you want to withdraw your money, you have, I mean, it's, it's, it's not really a lot of videos out there right now to kind of show you how to do this stuff. So I'm just trying to help as I can. I'm going to hit send. I'm going to paste the address at the top. Now, you could change it from BNB to USD right there. So, I just clicked on BNB. That's how you change it back. So, you see a USD value. I'm going to just say $10 for this video tutorial. I'm going to hit continue. Yes, I'm going to pay the little fee. Okay, so $10 left. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my Atomic Wallet. And um, the extra $10 should show here. And, of course, out the fees probably be like nine nine dollars or something set so that's fine <laughs> okay I'm back about time at wallet I'm clicking on my BB okay the the funds have got here y'all saw it just came in let me um let me um okay so the next thing here is to swap BNB to Litecoin LTC that's the symbol <laughs> So, on, on the Atomic Wallet, um, you hit Exchange, okay? See, it's already set. I chose BNB at the top, and I got Litecoin LTC at the bottom. And to search for it, if you, all you got to do is hit, you can hit the search box and type LTC. I'm sorry, LTC. And choose Litecoin, and that'll be the bottom. Then all you got to do is put the amount you want to swap which for me I'm gonna just swap um, 0, 0.0 as long as I do the minimum they, they allow okay so they say I gotta at least do the minimum amount of two nine so make sure you do that make sure you 
um, have enough BNB in there as the minimum so you can exchange it for Litecoin. So they ask it for these. I'm going to just put 0 0.03 to be safe because I got that much. All right, then I'm going to hit exchange. And then you wait for it to go through. Probably take a couple of minutes, five, ten minutes. Um, hit close. It will say fund sent to exchange. That's good. That's what you want to see. I'm going to pause the video until it goes through. Okay, everyone. Once your Litecoin is in there, your next objective is to open up your Coinbase wallet. Get the receiving address for Litecoin there. And then once you, Litecoin is in Coinbase, you'll be able to sell the Litecoin there and to USD and be able to withdraw it to your bank account and your card. After you um, submit a KYC and all that stuff at Coinbase and added your bank information there. There are videos on YouTube to show you how to do all that. Um, to show you how you add your information in, in Coinbase and all that stuff. It's pretty easy and simple. So let's do that. Let's go to Coinbase. Get the receiving wallet address for Litecoin there. Okay. All right. So you should be your wallet. If you're on the phone, it should show like this. The computer version on Coinbase might show a little different, but it's basically the same steps. What I'm doing now is, I, yep, you see Litecoin, so I'm gonna click Litecoin. Cause I done swap my like I done swap BNB for Litecoin in Atomic Wallet. And so right here, I'm gonna click on Litecoin Wallet because I want to receive Litecoin in this wallet because. My bank and stuff is here, so and plus my cards. So we go hit Litecoin. Yeah, it should show like this. Now, how to receive on the phone? You see the little barcode at the top right, and the little arrow beside it. Um, we go to receive. You gotta hit the barcode to send Litecoin back somewhere else. You hit the little arrow. But for this video, we go hit the barcode so I get the receiving address. I'm right, gonna hit copy. Because I need to copy the address. Yep, see it copied. And I always verify, make sure, I always check the first three and the last three um, to make sure I'm sending it to the right address. So, so it says copy. So what I'm going to do now, what you need to do is go back to Atomic Wallet. But that's where your Litecoin is at after you converted your BNB. Okay, I'm going to hit Litecoin here in Atomic Wallet. You see, receive and send. So we send it out from here. We're going to hit send. All right, we're going to paste. I'm going to hold my finger in the top box so until it says paste. So I can paste the address I just copied. Yep. Okay, you should be good there. All right, for this video, I'm going to see you can put the USD value at the bottom line, which is under LTC. So I'm going to put. I'm going to see what the minimum they allow to go out. I'm going to put $5 here. Whatever you got that, you could you could just put there. And I'm going to hit go. It shows the fee. See, look, the network fee for me is like is like two cents. It's awesome. Compared to Ethereum, Ethereum fees is higher. That's why I choose Litecoin. I'm going to hit send. Okay, I'm going to put my password in. So I can send it out. You'll have to do the password stuff too. On your this whatever you create as your password. I'm hit confirm. See, it's sent out success. Now what you can do, you will wait for it to hit your Coinbase. I'm gonna hit back. Now I'm going back to Coinbase because that's done. I ain't got to deal with Tama Wallet no more for right now. So trust wallet and Atomic Wallet is done. Your final thing steps is to deal with Coinbase and that Coinbase alone. After your funds are clear. And it going over. Okay. So I'm gonna hit. I'm going back, so I'm going to close that out. Keep Coinbase, but close all this other stuff out. Okay, now we completely in Coinbase. All right, I'm hitting the little arrow, the X. Normally, you'll get a notification, too, in your email. Because, you, of course, you had to sign up Coinbase through an email and password. And they will send you notifications when funds is on the way or something is, um, is you know, sent to you and stuff like that. So, I'm going to hit the back arrow. I'm going to wait real quick for the little five dollars to come through so i'm gonna just keep hitting the arrow back i'm gonna go to portfolio 
Cause that's basically it. It shows a summary of all your coins, um, right here. Like, see, see your portfolios. You can you can see what's coming in, what's going out, stuff like that. So this this shows a list of all the coins you may have. So I'm gonna just hit back on Litecoin real quick, and it will show um, if I hit LTC Wallet. See, it will show the history, right? So we just wait for it to clear. Give me one second. As you can see, it came through receive Litecoin. So what I'm gonna do now, I need to sell the Litecoin. So I'm gonna hit trade. This is what you do next once the once the um funds clear. Then y'all see this sell LTC get cash for LTC. Yes, do that. Click sell. Whatever amount you want to sell for this video, I'm gonna do uh four dollars. Just as an example, hit preview sale. Hit sale now. You all, we almost done. Okay, now you're selling your crypto for cash. That's what you want to do. Okay, view. We go hit view account. It says successfully sold. Good job. Yours should say successfully sold on your end. Okay, next, what we want to do, we want to go back to portfolio. This this will be the final step. Keep in mind when you sell. It's going to show up, since it's cash, it's going to show up as U.S. dollar. So what you would do, you would hit U.S. dollar. That's where you're, after the fees are taken out, guys, keep that in mind. Whatever you have left, that's what you would be able to withdraw, okay? It's always fees in, involved in every transaction. Please keep that in mind, okay? And all you do, y'all see I hit um, the USD and, I, and I'm hitting sale, uh, where I'm about to withdraw. So I'm going to hit withdraw. Now what and there's whatever amount you want to withdraw, of course your bank information and whatever whatever payment process that they allow for you to withdraw to should be in your back office already. So I'm gonna hit three dollars. I'm gonna hit preview withdrawal. Then you choose wherever you want to withdraw to. It'll let you know what fee it'll cost if you want to withdraw to your cards you have on file or your bank accounts you have on file. And once you choose that, that's it. It'll go through and just wait. And if you're doing it through the bank, it's going to take one to three business days. If you do it on your card, it should be instant with the fee attached. So this finally conclude this video. I hope it helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to this channel and you'll be updated on great opportunities as well as video tutorials to show you how to do certain things. Thank you.